Bacon. Hello, all you wonderful people. On the last day that I was in Orlando, I was invited out to America's Escape Game to try out the scariest escape room in Orlando, Asylum. And not only was I invited, I was also allowed to film the entire experience, which is something that is incredibly rare in escape rooms. Escape rooms are nothing new, but you probably know the general idea. You have an hour to get out using the clues that are in the room. All right, all right guys, so we're gonna walk inside. We're gonna watch two videos before we begin. Our first ones are do's and don'ts, like sticking your finger in an electrical outlet is a don't. Although you did sign those waivers, feel free. This fine young man is named Steven. Because of him, this is all possible. So thank you very much, Steven. And jokes aside, the moment that you walk in, you are enveloped in the story. It feels like you are in a serious haunted house, and at any moment, a ghoul could jump out of one of the holes of the walls. After the introduction, it was time to solve the escape room. The first thing I thought to do was just grab everything and put it in one place so we knew where everything was. After that, we started searching the room. We found some flashlights and we were able to start seeing a little better. We looked for clues around the room, things that seemed obvious, looked for doors that were open and tried to open every single thing that we could. More, uh, more flashlights. Now, for this escape room, we had an awesome team. We had Uzi, Mike McGowan, and my friend Brooke. And thankfully, we all kind of knew each other, so we all knew what our strengths were. So we were just trying to figure out what we could find on our own. After our first 10 minutes in the room, we had an excellent collection of stuff. And as we looked closer and closer of everything that was there, we started noticing some clues. And we put some things together without saying what they were and bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. There we go. Okay, we, got, we need more of these. Hey, puzzle pieces and, and more stuff for the, the, um, the thing here. Okay, here we go. Now As we, we solved more and more things. Here's the, here's the puzzle pieces here. It progressively got right. creepier so and creepier. creepier. All right, that's a spirit box now. So we got that. Boom, way, we got a straight jacket. There we go, we'll take all. Then there came a point where we were all just literally working on our own projects, trying to figure out how we're going to get out of this room, how all these things work together, and also not trying to be creeped out by being stuck in this room and only having about 30 minutes left. By the way, this place only has a 17% escape rate. I feel like Tommy was so trying to open this lock for the art supplies here. Help me, I'm being held here against my will, mommy and daddy. That just makes this Okay, so Woo! I got a D. It smells like poo poo in here, Steven, because I farted really badly. <laughs> Don't tell nobody, but she, like, they can't even oh, walk in here. Oh, she can't even walk in! I didn't get it on camera, but Steven, our game master, had to come into the room and spray down the room with some air spray to make the room smell better. Believe me, you live in Japan for five years, American food does terrible things to your stomach. <laughs> well, I became in charge of this room, trying to solve all the secrets inside of it. Well, the game master whispered a look at this. things to the microphone, trying to creep me out. And check out that male pattern baldness. No! <laughs> oh, Hello? It seemed that the spirits in this place were ready to be seen. And after solving one more puzzle, they uh, appeared. We didn't realize we were supposed to touch it. <laughs> so okay, we're good. Wow. Oh, there's another room. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a spirit over here. Oh, wow. Got a ghost. Whoa. With only about 10 minutes no. remaining, 
We tried our best to solve all the puzzles that were left in front of us. And for some reason, Mike McGowan was covered in a bloody jacket. I don't know when he did that, but he decided, nah, I'm gonna go be a doctor, and he turned into Dr. Acid as we're trying to figure out these problems. Hey, four seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Ew, you farted again, Sorry. this game, this game. No, 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 I can't yeah. get out, I can't get out. I can't get out. I guess I knew, I, I knew the room. We, we made it out of there with two seconds to spare. Uh -huh. After oh, escaping the asylum, yeah. Stephen took us on a sneak peek tour of the other escape rooms that were located inside of the building. Sorry. And my goodness, they were so crazy and so intense, I've never seen anything quite okay, like them. It. Hello? 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 Uh, this is Bill Jameson from the FBI. You are in danger. We have just received word that it was the caretaker that has transformed these walls into the weapons that they are now. Years ago, I was able to do this Egyptian themed one that recently got rethemed by Steven and his team. Actually, one of the people that actually helped retheme it was Destin Dern. It's really cool to see my friends professionally wow. working all together. A huge thank you to Steven and America's Escape Game for making this possible. And now I leave a challenge for you. If you're in Orlando and you want to try an escape room, try the asylum. It's terrifying and try to beat my score of five seconds. Well, you might want to bring a good team. <laughs> Mike, Brooke, and Uzi were pretty amazing. And I did have a way to clear them out with my farts. Other than stopping by Hash House at GoGo to grab some hamburgers, this was the last thing I did in America. And I am super happy that I got to experience an extreme haunted escape room and i got to do it with friends and those memories made the over 24 hour flight to japan that much more memorable because on that flight i watched the worst movie of 2019 men in black international and a movie I had never heard of before, The Peanut Butter Falcon, which is one of the underdogs of 2019. If you have not seen it, you should see it. And movie. speaking of movies, while I was in Orlando, I also was able to be in a movie. I was a part of Robotica Destructiva, which is the new Killer Robots movie that I am excited to be a part of. Oh, sorry, man. That's okay. You go, and that's how movies are made, folks. It was really fun to be back on a set shooting movies and actually working as part of a crew. This is page 88. Wait, wait, Sal, I don't have sound. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> this is page 88, panel 10, take one, action. We've safely entered high school. <laughs> one more time. We've safely entered hyperspace, Krogar. There are no ships in pursuit. Here's to hoping that there's sound in that shot. Regardless, I got to work with Destin Dern, Jeremy DeMoss, Mike McGowan, and the director of the movie, Sam Gaffin, who just finished a movie called Wrath of the Minotaur, which is available for free on Amazon Prime, if you're an Amazon Prime member. And if you're thinking, hey, wait, wait, I, I started watching this video because it was about an escape room, the scariest escape room in Orlando. Yes, uh, this Minotaur is in a maze. So there's your 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 connection, folks. The man you're looking at right now is Sam Gaffin, the director of the film. And I asked him for a trailer of Wrath of the Minotaur, and he sent me this. So if you want to watch a short film that's free for Amazon Prime members, go on below and check out the link for it. Also, if you enjoyed Mike McGowan's acting expertise in this video as well, you can spot him a couple times. A couple times. I won't say how many. But there's a couple of spottings in this short film as well. As well as links below will be to America's Escape Game. 
As I always say, folks, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. Be nice to one another and stay groovy. Bye.